and we were sat about where we are now and I looked across and I just said to the colleagues I was sat with, doesn't this look really glum in here and sad and a bit miserable really? And that would make the perfect cafe to be run by people with a learning disability. Yeah, my name's James. I, I work at a cafe, yeah, was a cafe here in Newcastle and um, I'll, sometimes I work in the kitchen, I work on the front of the salad bar and then um, sometimes I work on the tail. When it's busy on lunch times, you meet new customers, you say hello and how are you, what have you been doing today? Well, long story, very short, is that they went away and had a conversation with the other tenants and they also get yeah, brilliant idea, tell them yes, they can have the cafe but they've got to make it happen. So I said really naively, oh that'll be alright, yeah, we'll be able to do that. Uh, I think the Opportunity Cafe has made a really big difference to uh, the atmosphere working in this building now. It's, uh, it's a lovely, warm, vibrant place, it's a welcoming place, it's, uh, you know, it, it's colourful, it's fun. We had to write a business plan and a financial forecast, so we needed a, we worked with a social enterprise organisation that helped us do that. We um, spent, we saw 15 people in the morning, same in the afternoon, and had lots of activities for people to do. It was just a really fab day. We took everybody's photographs so we could, it was a bit like the X Factor, you know, where they line everybody up and say, right, do we think they would fit in and all of that. So we, we selected our team, we'd advertised for six people, we've employed 11. Brilliant. What's the best thing about it? Getting to serve the customers and getting on with everyone who you work with. I was in tears, they were in tears, you know, me and Kirsty, my colleague Kirsty. Um, we were, had the joy of ringing people. I was really happy because they got paid. And what does it, what, what does it mean being able to you know, get money? It's better than like, having your own money. We've made loads of reasonable adjustments. So if you've seen the tail, you need to have a look at the tail. We've had that, um, we commissioned that and designed that specifically so that there are, it's, there's no very little, few words, it's all pictures. Yeah, like pictures who, who was on the tail. Every cafe member has their own workbook, their own kind of at work manual if you like, and that's tailored to meet their needs so it tells, you know, describes their job description is all very straightforward and easy read. We almost don't even think about the fact that we're making a reasonable adjustment anymore, that's just how the cafe operates. It's just great to watch how quite quickly it became like a little family um, and everybody kind of looks out for one another um, and I think that's lovely. You get a real sense of unity between each other. You know, just taking Richard as an example, when he first started making the sandwiches, it was, it was taking quite a while just to get through that process. and. It's just like night and day different in that short space of time. The confidence and skill that he's built up just to do it so quickly and precisely and just do such a brilliant job with it. Having a job keeps you well. You know, we know that by this, this group of people have got purpose, they can, um, they can show that, that they've got massive amounts of skill and that is growing day after day after day their communication with others, their social interaction with others. It's phenomenal and that will keep people well, that will keep people away from the health service. This is the stuff that will really, truly transform lives for people with a learning disability.